What's going on YouTube? It's James Q Quick from Learn, Build, Teach. A couple of weeks ago, I uh, put out my first video on creating your first extension in Visual Studio Code. Uh, today we're gonna do something similar, but we're gonna create a specific type of extension, which is an extension pack, uh, which is basically a collection of extensions. So that's what we're gonna dive into today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so uh, you may be wondering uh, what exactly is an extension pack? You can think of it this way. If there is a group of extensions that you would like to install, and it, and it, an extension pack can kind of group all of those extensions together so that by installing the extension pack, you end up installing all of the extensions that are referenced in that pack. Now, this is really useful um, for multiple different reasons, but the main thing is if you've got uh, let's say you're working with Angular and there's multiple extensions, again, that you want to uh, help in your Angular workflow. There might be, might be a good extension pack that has all those bundled together. There's some for JavaScript, there's some for React, there's some for more or less anything that you could use in uh, VS Code. There might be an extension pack already there for you. So if you're interested, uh, inside of the extension, inside of the marketplace for VS Code, so marketplace.visualstudio.com, uh, and then uh, highlighting Visual Studio Code up here, you can scroll down to see uh, a filter by extension packs. So this way I can uh, basically just search for extension packs. And so they've got them for uh, an anacondas for Python, then they got PHP, there's another Python one, Angular Essentials, uh, Node, so many different ones. The Node one here has some really great uh, extensions for JavaScript, so that's one that I personally recommend. And then I'll show you a few more at the end of the episode. So that's what we're doing. Now to get started creating an extension just in general, one, uh, you can go back and look at the video from a couple of weeks ago that I'll reference here. And you also can kind of look at the, uh, the blog form of that, which additionally has the video embedded on Scotch, which came out a few weeks ago as well. So on Scotch, it's uh, create your first Visual Studio Code extension. So that'll kind of walk you through some of the getting started stuff. Now, a couple of things that you'll need. You'll need to have uh, Yeoman installed. And Yeoman is basically a scaffolding tool to uh, help scaffold projects for you. So you have to install Yeoman. So if you, if you don't have that installed, you can do, let's bring up VS Code here, do an npm i-g, so npm install globally of uh, Yo. And so that'll run off and install Yeoman. Now from there, you'll also need the specific code generator for VS Code. All right, so with Yeoman installed, to then install the specific generator for VS Code, uh, you can do npm uh, i for install dash g, and then it's called generator code. So this is the this is the specific scaffolding uh, tool for Visual Studio Code extension. So we'll let that install. Okay, now with both of those things installed, we can go ahead and uh, basically start to create a VS Code extension. So to start uh, creating an extension, you can type in yo code. And once we do that, let me make the terminal here a little bit bigger. Uh, it's gonna say, welcome to the Visual Studio Code extension generator. And it's gonna ask you what type of extension you want to make. Now in the previous video and article a couple of weeks ago, we did a just a regular JavaScript extension. In this case, we're going to come down to a new extension pack. And you'll kind of see how easy it is to create one of these or edit one of these here in a second. So let's do new extension pack, uh, or add the currently installed extension. So what this means is, it could potentially take a list of the extensions that you already have installed and include that in this extension pack. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to say no. And the name of ex this extension, uh, test extension pack, because this is just a, a test for demo purposes. Identifier can be the same thing. Description, this is a test. Obviously, do something a little more, uh, a little more useful when you're doing a real one. And so what this does, if I look in this directory, it's now created my test extension pack uh, directory, which is the project. So to open that, I can do test and then uh, extension pack. So I'm sorry, code and then test extension pack to go ahead and open that up in VS Code. So this will open it up and I'm gonna close out the one I had before. So here is our new extension. Now uh, the generator for VS Code, the code generator is pretty awesome because it, it goes through and, and basically sets up everything you need to have for an extension. Now, a couple of videos ago, we would have had a JavaScript file, which would be where we actually write the JavaScript, the functionality for, for an extension like that. With an extension pack extension, uh, all you really need to do is work with your package.json. So inside of the section called extension pack, you'll have an array 
of different strings and the way these strings work is it's the publisher dot extension name for whatever extension you want to include. So if we open up the browser, come back over to uh, extension packs here and go back to where we're just searching just, uh, just all the extensions in VS Code, we can grab something like the debugger for Chrome. And I don't think they, sometimes they don't do a great job of explaining how you can find the publisher name and the name of the extension but I'll give you a little hint here, or a couple of different hints. One, on the documentation over here to the right, you can see that, and maybe maybe zooming in on that would help a little bit. So you see the first part here is the uh, the author, and then the last part is the uh, name of the extension. You can also see that, let me scroll back out, also see that just when you navigate to an extension, you can actually grab uh, the details of that extension after the item name equals, the rest of that is gonna be the details that you need. So what I can do is I can copy this, and I can bring it right over here into my package.json and paste it. And now this, this package.json file, when anyone ins installs this extension pack, it is by default gonna uh, go ahead and install the debugger for Chrome. Now, an extension pack, typically you'll have more than one uh, extension. So if you wanted to go out and grab uh, ESLint, for example, just because it's here, same process, you can grab the end part of this URL, which is the publisher ID and the uh, extension name. And then after a comma in here and in quotes, just go ahead and put that in as well. So basically all you have to do to create an extension pack is uh, go through that scaffolding and then uh, get, the, get the publisher ID and the name of the extension, that combination. So publisher ID dot extension name, get that combination for each extension that you want to include, put it in the extension pack property of your package.json and that's all you have to do to create an extension pack. Now I figured I would give you guys an example of, of one that I've done. So let's go in my repositories on uh, GitHub, James Q Quick. I've got one called the Web Development Extension or Web Development Essentials Extension Pack. And on the readme here, I, uh, I list out all the different uh, extensions that are included. So there's actually uh, 22 or three or something like that included here, which is, uh, to me is pretty useful. This is the majority, uh, or several of these are ones that I use myself. 95% 90, of these are ones I use myself. So this is actually handy for me. I could just install all of these in one fell swoop. But if you open up the package JSON file, uh, you'll know there's name description, all that kind of stuff. I'm incrementing the version every time I put out a new version. And then you can see all I've done is added uh, all of those extension details in that extension property in the package.json. So that's all you have to do. There's a working example. You can also come out to uh, the marketplace and you can search for the Web Development Essentials Extension Pack. Again, on the readme, it lists all the different extensions. And then when you install this, it will download uh, all of those uh, extensions that are nested inside there for you. So uh, creating an extension pack is even easier than creating uh, just kind of a regular extension because with the regular extension, you have to go in, add your functionality in JavaScript uh, and, and do that there with uh, extension pack, basically you just have to reference the other extensions that you want to include. So I've got a few other, I don't know if I can click on my name here. I did a few others based on articles that I wrote. Uh, I guess the other extension pack is a CSS essentials extension pack. So this has got several ones for a couple different ones for CSS, which is pretty nice. Uh, but again, you guys, you guys certainly have the tools. It's pretty easy to do. Go ahead and, and think about maybe a group of extensions that you use or you would like to help make easy for people to install and you can create an extension an extension pack to do just that. So that's gonna wrap up the video on creating an extension pack in VS Code. Uh, in the future, keep your eyes out for maybe creating an extension that does uh, shortcuts or something like that. I wanna kinda dive a little bit deeper into different kinds of extensions. So I just wanna thank you guys for checking out the video. Look forward to more VS Code and other web development and tooling content in the future and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out learnbuildteach.com to sign up for the newsletter to learn about my latest content. Thanks for watching.